Sunday, the 10th of July, 2022. 15th Sunday in Ordinary Time. First reading. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Obey the voice of the Lord your God, keeping those commandments and laws of his that are written in the book of this law. And you shall return to the Lord your God with all your heart and soul. For this law that I enjoin on you today is not beyond your strength or beyond your reach. It is not in heaven so that you need to wonder who will go up to heaven for us and bring it down to us so that we may hear it and keep it. Nor it is beyond the seas so that you need to wonder who will cross the seas for us and bring it back to us so that we may hear it and keep it. No, the word is very near you. It is in your mouth and in your heart for your observance. Responsorial Psalm Seek the Lord who are poor and your heart will revive. This is my prayer to you, my prayer for your favour. In your great love answer me, O God, with your help that never fails. Lord, answer, for your love is kind, and your compassion turn towards me. Seek the Lord, you who are poor, and your hearts will revive. As for me in my poverty and pain, let your help, O God, lift me up. I'll praise God's name with a song. I'll glorify him with thanksgiving. Seek the Lord, you who are poor, and your hearts will revive. The poor, when they see it, will be glad, and God's seeking hearts will revive. For the Lord listens to the needy, and does not spurn his servants in their chains. Seek the Lord, you who are poor, and your hearts will revive. For God will bring help to Sion, and rebuild the cities of Judah, and men shall dwell there in possession. The sons of his servant shall inherit it. Those who love his name shall dwell there. Seek the Lord, you who are poor, and your hearts will revive. Second reading. A reading from the book of Colossians. Jesus Christ, in the image of the unseen God, and the firstborn of all creation, for him were created all things in heaven and on earth, everything visible and everything invisible, thrones, denomination, sovereignties, powers, all things were created through him and for him. Before anything was created he existed, and he holds all things in unity. Now the church is his body, he is its head. As he is in the beginning, he was first to be born from the dead, so that he should be first in every way, because God wanted all perfection to be found in him, and all things to be reconciled through him and for him. Everything in heaven and everything on earth when he made peace by his death on the cross. Gospel acclamation. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The sheep that belongs to me listen to my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Hallelujah. Gospel. Reading from the book of Luke. There was a lawyer who, to disconcert Jesus, stood up and said to him, Master, what must I do to inherit eternal life? He said to him, what is written in the law? What do you read there? He replied, You must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength, and with all your mind and your neighbour as yourself. You have answered right, said Jesus. Do this and life is yours. But the man was anxious to justify himself and said to Jesus, And who is my neighbour? Jesus replied, A man was once on his way down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell into the hands of brigands. They took all he had, beat him, and then made off, leaving him half dead. Now a priest happened to be travelling down the same road, but when he saw the man, he passed on by the other side. In the same way, a Levite, who came to the same place, saw him and passed him on the other side. But a Samaritan traveller, who came upon him, was moved with compassion when he saw him, he went up and bandaged his wounds, pouring oil and wine on him. He then lifted up on his own mount, carried him to the inn and looked after him. Next day he took out two denarii and handed them to the innkeeper. Look after him, he said, and on my way back I will make good any extra expense you have. Which of these three do you think proved himself a neighbour to the man who fell into the brigand's hands? The one who took pity on him, he replied. Jesus said to him, Go and do the same yourself gospel of the Lord.